really proud of the players. And uh, I just told them it doesn't happen often. And I, I don't remember. I know we were part of a win here, but I don't remember. It's been a long time since I could be happy at the end of the game in the stadium. And so I'm thankful to them. Um, coaches have always coached hard for this game. You know, the players are the ones that got to deliver, and they did. They came ready. Uh, they didn't let anything get them out of their focus. Played physical. Uh, started fast. First play. So a lot of positives. You know, Brennan strained. The guys played really hard for him, and, and that was awesome to see. But the defense, you know, played a tremendous, tremendous first half, third quarter. Uh, it's a good team win, you know. And anytime you in the second oldest rivalry in the country, and you get to win that game, it means a lot. It means a lot to win this game here. So thankful to them and proud of it. Coming into this season, you said that typically you see the most growth from game one to game two. Do you still feel that way, or do you think with this team that you saw more growth from from the bye week to yeah. whatever week that was? Definitely the bye week forward. I mean, I think we were and still are evolving um, offensively. <laughs> Just trying to get our, you know, what are we? Trying to get that figured out, you know, as we go. And I think the last three games, we've gotten better. Each, each game, we've gotten better. Ran the ball really well today. And uh, that was great to see. And it was, to be able to have that kind of run game. But yeah, I think Coach and I said this, you know, when we were in spring ball, he's like, it's going to take a while to figure this piece out. Because we didn't have any guys that were just dominating the practice, you know. Like, Obviously, KC has shown us that he's a player. But, you know, he had to figure out the pieces, you know, and who's he going to get the ball to, and how are we going to be able to use this guy or that guy. As you saw, we moved the linebacker to, to fullback to help us. I mean, we're, we're still evolving. Dakari Collins stepped up today, making some plays. Like, okay, so we can evolve more with that. And, yeah, so we're still growing, I think. Still getting better, which is man. If you're getting better in November, that's a good thing, you know. So excited about that. Like Forest, obviously, it's a team that's not the easiest to scheme for. Yeah. To be able to shut them down six points, what do you rate that as an achievement? <laughs> Our defense is awesome, man. I mean, those guys do a great job. Tony. Uh, has played against these guys multiple times. Has a good feel for them. Our kids have a good feel for them. And he did a good job mixing it up. We strained up front, and especially in that first quarter. We were in their backfield. I don't think they had a first down until might have been the end of the first half. <coughs> Five minutes left in the half. Yeah, that's what I mean. Came out fast, just dominated, and set the tone. You know, and guys did a good job. You know, when you play these guys, they're going to throw it deep on you seven or eight times. And our corners really held up today. Did a great job outside on. on Number 80 is a big, big dude, you know, and so I thought Aiden and Shy Battle both really played at a high level. What was it like for you to kind of see Brennan's response the last month and see it, you know, pay off on, on the field today? Yeah, I don't think you can say enough about uh, how he is as a teammate, you know, to to see him in his last year of college football not pout when things didn't go his way. You know, he just dug in. He's a good teammate. He worked hard every day. Whatever we asked him to do is yes, sir, and I think he took care of himself too. I think he did some good things to reset, and uh, we talked about that quite a bit that week after Louisville. You know, let's get you back to feeling good, get you back mentally. And that coach and I did some good things using his legs in that window of time to just kind of build him back into the offense and it gets confidence. Um, so impressed with him though, just as a person. You know, I managed all that and earned the respect of his teammates and. They got his back. I mean, you can see that. I think it's, it's hard for us to understand not you know, being in the building, but Brennan talked a lot just now about his the, the mental side of things and how that's the first thing to go for a quarterback. Um, how how is it you know for you to see him move from on from that to grow from that to learn from that? How difficult is that? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, it is. It's hard. It says a lot about his mental toughness and his makeup, and his parents, people that you know were in his circle. And just uh, his belief. So special guy, man. Glad he's here. And 
went through a lot and excited to see him finish this thing. You know, this next one will be big too. He's played at Virginia Tech a lot, so he'll still be ready for the, the Rockets crowd. They're playing good too, so yeah, I'm really proud of Brennan. Can you kind of rank this game in terms of where it stands regarding complimentary football and how the team did overall? Not right now, probably. I'm still, you know, complimentary football is really thinking about the drives and sequence and, and probably hard for me to do that for you right now. But the team played well today. It was a good team win. The offensive line has had struggles at points this year, but um, today it seemed like it really controlled the line of scrimmage throughout. Just um, how proud of you are, are you of that unit? Well, they needed to play well. You know, I mean, it's a team that wants to win, wants to do well. The quarterback gets all the focus, but the guys around the quarterback had helped the quarterback, and it starts with your line. And they kept him upright. He didn't get touched a whole lot unless he was running the ball purposely, you know, and so they did a nice job in the backs and the tight ends, everybody involved in that. Caught the ball well for him too. You know, the guys did a good job catching the football for him, and that's what you want. And you want guys playing hard for the quarterback. And we saw that today. Is that good for?